All right, we had a pool or a backyard redo landscape because <clears throat> they put a swimming pool in and destroyed the backyard. You had to redo the yard and the irrigation. We used some, now this is wintertime stuff's dormant. This is El Toro Zoysia. We've got Edward Goucher Abelia. They had a lower petalum here. I tree formed it up, transplanted it. Then we got red azaleas, a red blooming crepe myrtle. Then on this steep bank, now these sweet olives were here from three or four years ago when I did something back here earlier. But then you had a steep bank here, so we put lower petalum, primrose jasmine, Parsonite juniper, stuff that uh, hold a bank, erosion control. So you got heights and then low here, so you can look down to this stuff I did years ago. Then we got sunshine ligustrum, GG Gerby and azaleas, some upright podocarpus, southern yews. And then here's a bunch of shishis we transplanted that was up against the house. This we did years ago. Mostly a walkway. Some vitex here, some vitex there. Here vitex, there vitex, everywhere vitex. So this is real private down here, these sweet olives. And we have some path lights here. Have an accent light over there in the Vitex. This is drainage from the catch basins up by the house. And also swimming pool overflow. All right. This part of the yard was kind of messed up and woodsy. We hauled in a truckload of dirt to fill a hole. Built that little retaining wall out of stone to help shore up that sidewalk. And we came up through here with stuff. That's an existing, we transplanted, brought it back, put it back. These plants down through here are agapanthus. They won't get big there. They'll have those blue flowers in the summer, look nice. In wintertime, frost will make them go away. Also, we have a French drain maintenance strip here, no gutters here. Water comes off, goes into a French drain pipe, then goes to a solid pipe comes out here and comes out of an emitter. <clears throat> Shrub rose or drift roses, catch basin with atrium grate. So it won't get covered up with straw and more sunshines. Some hydrangeas tucked up in here and some Asiatic jasmine. Another French drain deal here because of no gutters. Make that strip. These are plants we transplanted that they had. Dwarf uh, gardenias, hopefully they make it. Another catch basin. Then we got Liberty Holly. Um, Arapi, another Liberty Holly. Some more of those white drift right there. Kind of hides that electric box. And down through there, another sweet item with some more uh, Edward Goucher abelias. And then in this pool service area, we came in here and put down filter fabric, laid gravel. This is your pool automatic fill deal. This comes off your irrigation main line. So you don't pay sewer water, sewer fee on your water to keep your uh, pool going. 
All right, then we came on out here. We put a little gem right there. Then we have a row of green giant arborvitaes. These azaleas right here were already here from the time I did something a time ago. Then we stuck one, two, three more vitex, some more Liberty Hollies, and then we wrapped around this thing with some Parson eyes. Juniper, it was a hot west sun coming through here. And back up in here where it's kind of shady, I got some red uh, azaleas. And we patched this up with some Bermuda side out here because that's what was out here. All of that was damaged due to putting a swimming pool in. But yep, turned out pretty neat. Looks pretty good lit up because we've got path lights scattered around, accent lights scattered around. Da -da -da -da. Okay.